All right, it's week three, 2014 Chicago Bears. The Reservoir Bears show is right now. Week three, Bears versus 49ers from week two. I can't predict a game to save my life when it comes to a score. I'm 0-2 this week uh, for the season. Um, why did the Bears win? They executed flawlessly with Jay Cutler. He was 4-0 when it comes to four touchdowns, zero interceptions, 67.6. That's why the Bears offense was so good. 67.6. That's his passer percentage. If you do that, if you hit that number, anything higher, you pretty much, you know, going in the right direction as far as a win is concerned. His passer rating was 119. Um, what? Brandon Marshall, three touchdowns. Uh, Mar uh, Mart Martellus, one touchdown. Fantastic job. On defense, how did they win the game? Kyle Fuller with two interceptions in the fourth quarter. Chris Conte got an interception. Um, Shane McClellan got a sack. Look out. Um, Lance Briggs, he got six tackles. Great job, Lance. Um, so they, they played mistake-free football, and that's why they won when it came to the offense. Let's see here. Injury report. Um, Alshon Jeffries has a hammy. Brandon Marshall has an ankle. Chris Conte. Chris uh, Conte has got it. Uh, he's banged up. Um, I think it was his shoulder. Um, bad news. Charles Tillman's out for the rest of the season. He's got a uh, tricep injury. Um, is this the last game he's ever played with the Bears? It's possible. Which is sad. Um, let's see here. Uh, power rankings. The Bears are rated anywhere as, as low as, or as high as number 9 and as, as low as number 18. So let's just cut it in the middle there and say 13-14. Uh, the Bears are 13-14th best in the league. Not too bad. Um, let's see here. Um, Jets. Jets are 1-1. One one. They had a shootout with the Oakland Raiders. And the, they just they they beat the Raiders at the uh, they beat the Raiders at the end of that game there. Um, so great job with Geno Smith and company. Chris Johnson, uh, remember him from the Tennessee Titans? No more two thousand yard years, but um, you know he's he's still a threat on offense. Eric Decker, he's their best wide receiver. He's a little bit banged up though, so it'll be interesting to see. You know um, they're gonna have to pass the ball other than just Eric Decker in order to beat the Bears. Um, they're ranked 21st in, po in power ranking. I don't really hold much stock in the power rankings. Everybody's going up and down. On defense, the Jets have no interceptions. They've got six sacks, so they've got a good offense, a good defensive line. Rex Ryan's going to have some blitz packages there. They're going to rattle the Bears. Um, so the Bears just got to stay calm. they got to be focused. Let's see here. The Bears, they've got five sacks, four interceptions, doing a great job so far this year. On the on the offensive side of the ball, the Jets have two wide receiver touchdowns and three rushing touchdowns this year. So Jets are not a powerhouse by any means, but you have to you know everybody has to be played respectfully. Um, when it comes down to a final score, I really favor the Bears here. It's on Monday Night Football. It's at the Jets. I'm still going to pick the Bears. I'm going to give the Bears ten points. So I'll say the score is. Um, Let's say the score is 24 to 14. Chicago Bears, 2 and 1. I'm Joe Kaiser, Reservoir Bears, week 3. We'll see you next week. Uh, have a good one.